It is the road to the Stanley Cup, and it kicks off tonight. Really looking forward to this one tonight. officials are calling. This is a real tough way to come out of the gate, the onset of the game. You want to get everyone into it, you want to get momentum rolling, and now you're killing the minor. That's because he's got that low center of gravity and core strength. He does get a shot off, but the goaltender makes a great read. Calgary's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. The Canucks have it now. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Dishes it off again here. I mean, you're a role player. You're out there to execute on the other side of the puck. What an added bonus to be that aggressive and create that opportunity. Unbelievable goal. The Flames have to be feeling good about this start here, Cheryl. Yeah, I know it's not rocket science, James, but you certainly play different when you have the lead than when you don't. And when you're the away team and set the tone, that's a good start. Takes a shot. Spectacular save on the play. Well, turn to the side once again. Goaltenders have to be able to read where the puck is going to, and he reads it perfectly as he has a strong push cross post and makes the save. The Flames carry it along the wall. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Picked up along the boards by Hoaglander. And now he tries to get it across to Garland. Calgary's moving it up the ice. Oh, Smart heads up play to put that one away. Big time stop there. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be scared of the shooter, that's a great save. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Flames have taken a 1-0 lead. Calgary's got it in the offensive zone. Turned aside with the glove. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Calgary's had the shot advantages, and they also have the lead. The Flames win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. Moves it quickly over to Heinen. Into the offensive end now. Shot! Big time stop there. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Moves it to Kuzmenko. Picked up along the wall by Huberdeau. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Forbork. Gets the puck in deep. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Poked away by Forbork. Loose puck and they're off to the races. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. The Canucks played along the boards. And a beautiful save by the goaltender. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The coach is simply wanting an explanation as to why his team keeps getting penalized. 
Anderson. It's a reasonable explanation. That's all it takes. It's composed, though. are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Calgary's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Goalie plays it up. Susie's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Pospisil. The Flames gain possession in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Pinned up along the boards. Poked away in the offensive zone by Sprong. To the low side. Oh, what a save in front. Wolf's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. Sends it in deep. The Canucks gain possession. Vancouver's looking to break out. Quick pass to Myers. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Flames have it now. Fiends lugging the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Sari. Oh, and the answer on that one. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark of the frame. We got a tie game. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. Calgary's got possession of the puck. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Nice dish from the left wing. Delayed penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. The Canucks will be forced to serve two minutes for cross-checking. Teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Off the draw, they take possession. Feeds the puck across to Sherwood. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And a huge stop by the goaltender on point blank range. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the small area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they clear that puck. Tries to feed it over to Kadri. 
and he takes the feed. Oh, what a move to get by there. And that's poked away by Sherwood. The Canucks have possession shorthanded, and they get the puck out of harm's way. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Dumps it into the ozone. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Zeri. The Flames fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Well, it's a critical juncture. Game is tied, and the PK unit does a real great job of keeping it there. And that's blocked away. And he loses control here. The Flames have it in the offensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Flames take it from the side. Takes a shot. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Demko. Scooped up along the wall by Backlund. It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's gonna be a grind. You're gonna have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Calgary's got a one-goal lead after that strike here in the first. Uh, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead. So they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can't sit back and protect it. And he slides it quickly to Besser. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. And the goaltender's going to play it out of the crease. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. and it has to be with good timing and recognize when that shot is coming. Let's it rip! And that goes on close off the body. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Miller's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Shuts him down. Demko's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Anderson's going to play it against the half wall. Hey, a Ridley Fussell here in the offensive end. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on and give his team a breather. Kadri's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Post gonna hang on for a whistle. Suter's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Calgary's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds, this one to go. Stay with us. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Vancouver's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Dishes it off. Now a quick pass to Sharnkovich. Puck exits the zone. Sharnkovich has got it in the defensive end. And he gives it over to Kuzmenko. Tries to get it to Sharnkovich. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Nice poke check. Explores his options behind the net. And the puck's kicked free. 
Mr. Bruss standing up, ready to go. They clear the zone. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's a 2-1 game. The Canucks win the draw here in their own end. With some open space at center. Here's a shot, and there's a great save by Wolf. Here's a short pass to Dewar. Quick shot, denied by the goaltender. Slides the puck over. Taken by Besser. and defend James, that low center of gravity, strength, good core, and finding a way to hold the puck, get their feet moving, and make a play with it. Extremely dangerous, and the goal is a result. The Canucks have evened things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they've got the equalizer. Giddy up. And he takes the feed. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Centering pass. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. And sends it just out of reach. Sends it in on the attack. Passes it over to Sherwood. Takes the pass. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Hands it over. And that carries off a body in the lane. Looking to set up offensively. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Calgary's got it in the neutral zone. Receives the pass. The Flames have played from the defensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Bede. And that's stolen by Heinen. Sherwood's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. It's going to be a slashing call. Anytime you come over the top or you hit the equipment and the ref is there, you're going to get a two-minute penalty. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot. I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also save the play. Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Well, let's reflect on that save again. I want to see it because in real time, I thought that puck was going in, James, but he manages to find it. Now, listen, you don't make those saves in practice. You know why? You don't have that level of desperation. This is urgency. This is instincts, and he makes an unbelievable stop. ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. And he takes the dish. Centering pass in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Backlund's got it into offensive territory. Too many bodies in the way. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Slides it across. The score! We'll talk about a friendly ping right there. Well, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. A 
I can't believe the time he had to walk into that one, James. He just lets it rip. Slap shot, no stick side, beats the goalie clean. After that power play goal, the coach is pleased with the unit because he knows and recognizes the importance of specialty teams. It's the reason why they spend so much time on them in practice. The Canucks are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Score! Jonathan Huberto! Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. And off the face-off, they take possession. And that's stopped away by Sissi. Puts it on goal. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. here in the second is paying off as they now bleed by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. And that's poked away by Myers. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Holtland. And not much on that one. Handles the puck. Passes it over. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Flames are looking to build on this one-goal lead. Puck picked up by Besser. Into the offensive zone. And he keeps possession. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. He looks deep to Manta. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. What a save on the play. Uh, it's a timely save, and it's going to generate a ton of momentum for his team here. But he's so composed, he's patient, and just steers the puck aside. And it's a quick pass to Uyghur. What a hit, and that'll wear down the opposition. Power forwards drive lanes, and they drive bodies. And that one's perfectly executed. Nice zone entry from the left. Fires it on net. That's blocked by Wolf. The Flames are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. The Canucks win that offensive zone faceoff. Away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. 
Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And does it again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Here in the lake, going to the frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Dumps it in. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Mira Menov. Puck dumped in. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Sends the pass over. The Canucks play it along the wing. Moves the puck down low. And now he moves it quickly to Susie. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Romano. Slides it across to Dewar. Oh, great play. He used the wall handling the pass. Fast and quick lead pass. And that's hooked away. Myers takes the puck. Moves it to Susie. Oh, one of his teammates is right in the shooting lane there. And the puck's knocked loose. Oh, they've got a two-on-one. Steps inside. Shot, scores! What a rush, and they finish it with a great play. They do a great job in transition, and they recognize they have the number. So on the odd man rush, they've got someone driving the net, pulling the knee back, and guess what? They capitalize on the space that they're given. The Flames pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score on the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum, momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Slides it on over to Anderson. Kuzmenko's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. We will throw any objects on or towards the playing surface at any time during the game. The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate removal from this building. Calgary's got a 5-4 lead here in what has been a thrilling display of offense. A shot! Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. And now he angles it across to Huberto. Takes that pass back at the point. Takes the feed. He grabs the puck here at the point. Taken along the wall by Anderson. Dishes it off. Scores! Wow, the excellence of execution on that one. Yeah, that's a beautiful one-timer. But what I like about it is that he's already said he knows exactly where that puck is coming, and he just wires it home. tell that the coach is not happy behind the bench after that last goal. He'll be preaching good habits and details. He doesn't like it right now. 
Calgary's added to their lead here, going up by two in the third period. Two words their coaches will be telling them, keep attacking. They have their opponent on their heels right now. These next few shifts in this third period are critically important. Directs it on over to Miller. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. The Flames have been bringing the fire offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third. Patterson's won it. Big play inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Patterson. Here's a pass to the middle. Another pass. And another pass. Moves it again. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Works it across to Anderson. Across the line down the left wall. Takes a spill out of the ice and loses the puck. Loses his balance on the play. And now it's grabbed by Coleman. Looking to make something happen. Oh, puck scooped up by Myers. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Strong. Feeds it over. Tremendous save by Wolf. Through center along the wing. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. And he sends it across to Holtlander. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Goaltender spent so much time doing cracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Handles the pass. Handles the puck at the point. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Takes it to center. Slides by the check. And a great seed. Picked up along the boards by Fogel. He carries the puck up along the wing. Into the corner of the attacking area. Makes the save. Moves the puck. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Puck moved over to Bluger. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Wolf. The Flames have continued to put lots of pucks on net, and they lead it here in the third. Miller's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, what a chance. He came so close to putting it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. Quick feed to Rooney. Three is wrestled on that. Stopped by the goaltender. Dots, we're ready to get things back going again. And off the draw, they win possession. Calgary's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Gets it to the other point. Quick pass to Sherwood. Gain momentum up along the side. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Moves it quickly over to Herrera. By the way, call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Moves it to Kuzmenko. Calgary's top line looks like they're having a ton of fun out there, James. They're showing their chemistry and their reason why they're in the lead in this game. The Canucks move it in. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends it quickly to Huberto. And he takes the pass. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. That's a solid check on the play. Gets the puck over to Kadri. Picked up along the wall by Manta. Get a slot. Stopped by the goaltender. And some good footwork to kick it away. Puck grabbed by Sprong. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Dumps it in. Scooped up along the wall by Garland. Slides it back to the blue line. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Canucks are going to serve two for tripping here.
The power play unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Vancouver's going to start with the puck on their own end. Myers plays it now. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And somehow he hangs on. From behind his own net. First one in place. Turned aside with the glove by Demko. Miller's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Flames take possession off the face-off. Sends a pass over. Turns aside the slap shot wide. Taken along the wall by Kadri. Oh, he couldn't cut pass. What a stop by Demko. I love how aggressive he plays the shooter on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net, so he gets out and challenges to make the save. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. And he was ready for that save. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. A little four on four coming up here. A successful power play, although it has been that tonight, it has to perform at the right times, and this is one right now. A critical moment to continue to execute. Hammers it on the can completely switch, and that's what's happened with this goal, James. You can certainly tell that the energy has shifted, and they're looking for the equalizer. One goal game now. Vancouver's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead, and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Here's a chance! Oh, and it stays out! He got a piece of that one! Demko's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. And he slides it quickly to Holtlander. Here's a shot. Gets a glove on it to keep it out. Ready for the draws, they will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Calgary's won the draw. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Oh, and that's a big time clear there. Ah, uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. You gotta find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focus on the <laughs> intangibles to their game tonight, James. I mean, it has been an uphill battle as they found themselves down in this game. They continue to battle to chip away. They were urgent on the puck, and now they find themselves getting the equalizer. When the stakes are high and you're in the playoffs, you know the sense of urgency in and around the third period, and they get the equalizer here. They're in their home barn, and the fans are sending them a clear message, and the coach is responding behind the bench getting swept up in the emotion of the game. The Canucks' last goal, Cheryl. Huge. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer. And this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their stick, so they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. Slides it across. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Whoa. Save, James. Inside of the last minute.
minute here in this third. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Oh, hell, a save like this, it'll wake up your entire bench. I mean, this is a game-changer, James. Talk about change the momentum of a game in a timely save. That's one right there. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Canucks take control of the faceoff. We got a whistle offside the call. in the defensive end. And the puck's booted away. Quick pass across to Coleman. Takes the feed. Passes it over. And that goes off a player in front. 32 seconds left on the clock. Turns it away. Demko's gonna hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Sharon Kovic has won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides it quickly to Hoaglander. Passes on over to Bluger. Takes the hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Flames take it along the wing. Still has possession. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, what a save with the club by Demko. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. So there you go. The end of the third period. Regulation has been played out, and we still don't have an answer. We still don't know who's going to win this one. So buckle up, because overtime is coming up next. Stick handling in his own zone. Calgary's in transition. Along the half wall with the puck. And a good smack with the stick to get it down. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Grabbed along the board by Anderson. Slides the puck over. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Vancouver's got it against the boards. Calgary's got the puck. 
Foster has been her workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dayernay's got the puck. What a steal in his own end. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Gaining momentum along the wing. Excellent stick work on the play. Picked up along the board by Hoaglander. Oh, and a great heads up play to force the turnover by Backlund. Battle along the wall. The Canucks have it against the wall. Passes over to Dayarnay. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Backlund. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Off a stick and they can't connect. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. A critical draw here. Calgary's got the win off that draw. Tries to get it over to Tour. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that somehow stayed out of the net. And that's stolen by Pospisil. Unloads one! Denies him! He got all of it! The Canucks were playing in their own end. Taken by Pahal. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Sends it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Miller. Slides the pass over to DeBrusque. Scooped up along the wall by Pospisil. And that's a smart heads-up play by Myers. Quick feed to Suter. Takes a bump and hangs on. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Take the puck. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Heinen. Slips by the check. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. Here's a feed in front. Another pass. Kuzmenko's got the puck now in his own end. Quick pass to Huberto. Oh, look at the glove save by Demko. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to the offensive zone. Strong use of the body. Denies him on the slapper. Gets it over to Uyghur. And that pass attempt is deflected. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sent into the offensive zone. Uyghur's taking it from his own end. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. Puck sent over to Heronic. Poked away at center by Manta. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it to the middle, and that doesn't connect. Takes the pass. Possession along the wall. Oh, tough save by Demko. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here.
And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Calgary's moving it along the wing. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Dewar. Blacks it into the offensive zone. Dewar's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off. Playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at EA Sports.